Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're doing a mega haul. So we hit a couple different stores. We've got some stuff from Amazon. We've got some stuff from Costco. And we've got some stuff from Lego. So first, we're going to jump right into it. This is a box that my wife sent me um, for Valentine's Day and our anniversary. Our anniversary is also in February. So we have a lot of stuff to unbox. We're going to jump right in. The first thing that we've got is this box here from Lego. And this was a box from my wife. Oh, baby. Oh. So, in this, we looks like we've got a bunch of different sets. What's that? So we have Spider-Man, uh, Attack on Spider-Man's Lair. Oh. I love this set. We have the Star Wars um, Mandalorian Starfighter. Beautiful. We have Seinfeld. Love that set. Oh, super pumped about this one. We have the Technic Jeep. And we also have one more buried back here, it looks like. All right. So that's the Spider-Man Drone Duel. I love this uh I love the, the suit, the inside out Spider-Man suit. It's great. All right, so uh, let me get this cleared off. We'll bring the next box up. Okay, guys, next up, we've got two packages from Amazon. One. And two. Um, well, we already opened this one, so we kind of know what's in there. In this one, we've got a uh, two more of the... Uh, total mounts for our headphones. We've got a problem where we have too many headphones, not enough mounts. We've got some uh, fine scratch plastic polish. This is going to be for our UCS um, Slave One. The cockpit piece um, is pretty pretty badly scratched, so we're going to use that to buff it out and get it clean before we put those neat decals on there. And then we've got a large pack of uh, microfiber cleaning cloths. Um, so that's just really good for wiping down Lego in general, um, keeping everything nice and dust free. And then in this box, <clears throat> we have another Jeep Wrangler. So my wife didn't know. I didn't know she was ordering that for me, and she didn't know I was ordering this for myself. This is a... Uh, all these sets up here are stuff that were on my Christmas list that were out of stock whenever she ordered. So, um, no problem at all getting another one of these. Um, they're going to be retiring soon, so price is going to jump up on those. So, hang tight, and we'll be back for our last Costco haul. All right, guys, if you've been watching YouTube uh, lately, on almost every channel I'm subscribed to, there has been one set going around from Costco that everybody is getting their hands on. It is the new March 1st scheduled release 75326 Boba Fett's Throne Room. I am a huge Mandalorian Season 1 and 2 Book of Boba Fett fan, and I am also a huge Star Wars fan. So this set for me is just, it, it's unbeatable. We're getting it early, we're getting all these new minifigs, and we're getting it 20% off. You cannot beat that deal. So, we went ahead and picked up, boom, two of them. But, that's not all. Okay? With those two, we also got... Oh. Oh. Ten more. Ten more, guys. Ten more brand new sealed in box Boba Fett's Palace. So, why? Why so many? Why did we get them all? What are we going to do with them all? Am I crazy? Probably. But here is our thought process with these, okay? So, for one, Costco didn't have a limit on how many I could buy. I was the first person to get to the pallet before anybody else was there, and they had a ton of these sets. Ton. So, 
I didn't feel bad buying the 12 that I bought. Two are going to be for me because I do want to get duplicates of the Gamorrean Guard as well as some of these other figures in here. Um, <clears throat> the Corrin, that's the first time he's been put in a Star Wars set. So that, that's a big win for me. Um, and then some of these other figures will just be good to hold on to for resale in the future. The only figure in this set that is a 100% new figure is Boba Fett. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six new figures, brand new figures to this set. And if you know anything about Star Wars collecting and reselling um, when it comes to Lego, and Lego in general, people love the minifigs. They love Star Wars. It's a great license, a license that holds its value. They also love minifigures. So I think this build is phenomenal. I think the minifigures add a ton of resale value to this. And I also think that this set, being 20% off, it's just... It's a no-brainer. This is a wonderful investment set. I think it's going to do fantastic over time. Um, now, granted, we're going to have to sit on the set for probably at least a year. Um, at least a year before it retires. But that's okay. We can double, if not triple, or more our money on this set um, in about a year, a year and a half. So we're going to take these 10 sets. We're going to put them in our dry storage um, where we have all of our other LEGO sets that are for resale. And I think this set's going to do fantastic over time. I know there's a lot of people out there that are giving it poor views because they don't like the architecture of the roof and the building. I don't think that matters. I don't think it's going to matter at all over time. I think it'll be a long time. I think the last um, Jabba's Palace set we got was four or so years ago. So it's going to be a while before we see this, if ever again, um, in, in Lego Star Wars. So this is a slam dunk and a half. So I went ahead, I pulled the trigger, um, and honestly, it, I might go back to Costco in a couple days, and if they still, they've got some more, I might uh, I might pick up 10 more. I don't know. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for this mega haul video. Um, leave your comments down below. Am I crazy? Have I lost my mind? Um, how do you think this set's going to do over time? Um, but hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. We greatly appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.